Hey everybody, welcome to Just Give Me the Mic. I am your girl Coco. It is now 2014. This is our first recording. Make sure you check us out every Wednesday night at midnight on BronxNet Channel 68. We got a hot show coming up for you tonight. I'm so excited. I hope y'all enjoy this. My first guest of the evening is going to be Chi Ali. He's going to come out here and do some freestyle, do something for y'all real nice. And we're going to sit down, we're going to kick it. We got those dental. So don't go nowhere. We'll be right back. This is just give me the mic, y'all. I'm your girl, Coco. Yeah. 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 Cash rules everything around me. Ring. Cash rules everything around me. Yeah. Cash rules everything around me. Yeah. Yeah, and yo, no matter the weather, I'm still chasing this cheddar. But these niggas, we got a nigga just fed up. Yeah, Gray Scott, I'm Scott Free, me and Baki. We up top, gotta go see Bobby. And I'm with that white again, ain't touched in years, so. Cash rules everything around me. Niggas hate me, they wanna full pound me. But I ain't with it, I ride around, I get it. Blue Yankee fitted. Everybody your critics Riding through the city, me and Joe Crack Look at the wrist, C24 stacks Yo, I <laughs> dumb as hell Instagramming, might as well dumb and tell What these niggas talking about See them hammers, now they wanna talk it out Presidential suites, presidential rollies Niggas say I done forgot the homies My bitch my gun saying Trey Sons, Louis V shades with the Louis loafers. My gun man run around with the Louis host of ball, ball, Harlem we balling, nigga yeah we balling, ball. Everything around me, cash rules everything around me, cash rules everything around me. If you ain't getting money, get from around me. Yeah, just give me the mic. Ah. Coco, where you at? I'm Uncle coming. Ralph. <laughs> Love you, my nigga. Ah, come on up. Hey, everybody. Y'all just saw that hot performance by Chi Ali. And now we're going to sit back and I'm going to kick it with you for a few. And thank you so much for coming through. And Thanks for me. having me, Coco. You already know how we do it. Though. I know. I know. So, I mean, Native Tongues, just a little background. He's down with Native Tongues. AJ, nothing but a number. Yeah, Did a lot of cool other thing. stuff, traveling, doing everything. So how is it now for you with the music and your grind? Like, how is it? Um, I think I think you know I just came home about a year, a little less than a year and a half ago. So, I think thus far, <laughs> I think oh, that yes. I think thus far, um, it, it's it's been a warm welcome back. I mean, mm -hmm. I I feel like I, I've covered a lot of ground and I'm doing what I want to do now. It's just about really getting acquainted with all the technology True. and um and whatnot that's going on. Just with the business side, you know, with the internet thing and everything, all of that was wasn't about when 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 I uh, before I took my little vacation. So now that I'm home, I just got to get real familiar with that. But all in all, everybody's been showing love. So what about the the way music is now? Like it was totally different, right? It was different. The vibe was different. It was like Jungle Brothers time when you was really really out. Everything was just like you know, third. What they call the kind of music that it was? Oh, uh, pro black. It was a little yeah, bit it was military. Like pro -black, it, 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 yeah. it was just a it was, it was a happier feel back then. It was a lot a lot more friendly. Mm -hmm. But um, I mean, I I feel like it 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 switches and changes and bounces around. But um. I mean, I love the music. I got, I got daughters now, so they got me listening to everybody, and, and I'm just a fan of music, so I love everybody doing their thing. You know, a lot of people, especially from my generation, they look down on, on a lot of the new wave the stuff, new music but I think you got to be able to you gotta be able to change with the times, because when, when we was doing it, I'm sure our parents and shit looked at us like, oh, this shit's going to be a fad, right? Yeah. But everybody's doing what they do, and then you got a lot of artists who's from down bottom, that you know, down south, that's popping, and they just grew up a little different, you know what I'm saying? But at different the end of them, they, they being true to what they know. If, you know, I was in, been in Atlanta for years ago, yeah. years ago, and strip clubs been popping in Atlanta, where they popping up here now, but that been, that's like part of they growing up down yeah, there. Yeah, that's their old school so music. So them, them making strip right. club records is, is part of their culture. So mm -hmm. they just taking the art and, and, and making it to what what they know. So I don't I don't think we should get mad at them. We just gotta appreciate different styles of, of, of the same thing. True, true. So what do you want 
from the whole music game right now. You out, you doing your music, you got the video. I love the K. Michelle video that you was thank in. You, thank Did y'all realize that he was the, the featured man in that video with K. Michelle? Did y'all see that? That was hot. I thought that was a very hot video. Thank so, you. like, what do you want now? Do you want to come back? Do you want like the fame with it? Do is this something that you feel in your heart you still just want to do? Or like what do you want for the I want some right M's, Coco? Yeah, of course. Yeah, you got what to you get that's, 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 yeah, that's now, it. I'm saying the music is a part of me. I mean, I came up in an era when I was coming home from school and whatnot, doing my homework, watching Rap City yeah. and, and BET and yeah. all that. And Yo M T V Raps, Video Music Box, shout out to Uncle Ralph. Yes, so out. that was just all I knew coming up. So it's I feel like it's embedded in me. It's not something that's a hobby. It's just that's just part of me. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So I don't even really think of it like that. I just want to make good music, music that um that I like and that I hopefully could reach a nice a nice amount of people with and you know better they day when they listen to it or Sorry. just let them reflect on some of the obstacles that I've gone through in life and just 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 make people feel my music and in the process I want to try to get some bread while doing it. <laughs> of course. You know what I mean? That's um, definitely yeah. But other than that, like when I was away I wrote a book, I wrote an autobiography. Yeah, yeah I'm we looking for a publisher. I'm actually me and Shannon Holmes, he wrote like Be More Care for a lot of the hood novels. Okay. He me and him was working together on on, on some publishing th like just he I don't know if we're gonna go through his company or find a private publisher or what or how, exactly how we're gonna do it but okay. we really just started talking like right before New Year's so we in the works of doing that and um but it's not a hood novel it's an autobiography and it's like it's a great read and I think no matter what walk of life you came from it'll be parts that you could definitely identify with okay. and uh, and I think it's going to touch a lot of people and we we really interested in even trying to make it into a movie of some sort nice. so you know we're working on that the music. the music. Then you, you know, just shot a video with Jada Kiss. Right. You know? uh, G check. Look for that. Like in the next two, three weeks, that okay. should be out. G check featuring Jada Kiss. Big shouts to the homie Kiss for coming out and showing me love. Right. Um, along with that, um, what else are we doing? You know, we doing the modeling <laughs> thing, the little acting thing. No, I seen that. Well, so we, what's going on with that? You trying to do productions with it? Or how um, you? I'm saying I'm. If the bread is right and it's it's something that that I feel is um in my best interest and not nothing that that I that I'll be frowned upon for doing okay and then then i'm with it you know okay. what i mean i'm just um i'm not i'm not hollywood yet <laughs> but um get me before i get there get him get him get him um other than that then i'm I, like i said i was away a while so i'm doing a little motivational speaking thing that's you know good. just trying to that's trying to trying to trying to keep it positive um and um now the book and that's what it is like how deep do you want to get into it do you are you going to break down like the, the book is is raw the tell book all. is raw and uncut that's okay. like the only thing is i don't know like when i get if i get with a major publishing house how much they're going to edit True. but the book is like it's raw like i'm not a writer where i was using big words and whatnot <laughs> you're going to tell I, it it's, how it's raw so it definitely they'll definitely want to edit it i just don't know how much you know they want to keep and how much they want to edit out but i give it up i, I gave it up in a book so wow. like a lot of people like when i do interviews they like oh you held back a little and i'm like yeah because i want to keep people interested for the book but it's a great read like i said you you and love it honest, you'll I love mean, it i remember we had the first online interview and i mean you had no problems answering anything talking about anything that happened you know, you gave regards to family. I mean, it was, it was, that was a real good interview. People are still actually writing me about that interview. So if you missed that, go to Blog Talk Radio and make sure y'all catch that interview. It was very, very hot. But I'm glad that things are moving in the right direction. Definitely, People are supporting. definitely. I know you did something with Fat Joe, too. When you yeah, got, Fat Joe. That was a hot mix, Y'all can too. check that video, yeah. um, Games and Things, Chi Ali featuring Fat Joe. It's on, it's on my YouTube page, Chi yeah. Ali BX, but it's on, like, World Star, a lot of the, yeah, it's a the hot big video sites. Too. You know, a lot of the homies is working with me and showing me love and, and that's like fat joe him and the whole terror squad the from yab team. rich dollars macho everybody surge everybody like when i first touched down they took me out to miami mm -hmm. and it's nothing but love and it's like every time i go to miami i call them and they like yo what's up what you want to do it's like i don't really got to touch a dollar in my pocket they they hold me that's down with my, my Bronx that's niggas hold me friend. down out in miami but they strong out there yeah, so they big, yeah. big shouts to joe the whole ts yeah what it is rich so play. who do you want to work with like is there anybody um, out now that you like yo I, I, I got to do something with him. Like anybody in particular? Um, I mean, Kiss was one of them, so I got to work with Kiss. Okay. I, I'd love to work with Kiss again. Um, Fab and probably Drake. 
I like Fab. Fab and I think Drake. Fab just don't get like, or like, Fab is no, uh, without a doubt repping Brooklyn hard. Yeah, Fab is right now he, he holding New York release, down. Right? He holding New York down. Yeah, that's so Soul Tape Three, fire. Crazy, it's fire. crazy. I don't know if y'all been hearing that on the radio, but it's definitely, definitely yeah. crazy. I've been jamming yeah. off that, driving in my car, like. Yeah. But y'all would make a nice combination together. Yeah, I fucks with Fab. I, I, I think Fab is a New York nigga who's dead nice, but. And when he goes with the down south rappers or gets on the down south beat, mm -hmm. he still keeps his lyrical content. Still remains and I the like same. that. That's so, right. you know, me being a, a New York MC from the old school, I, I appreciate good lyrics. Yeah. And I appreciate that, that you know, he doesn't water down water down his, his material mm -hmm. just because maybe the artist he's with may not be as hard as him. Sure. Fab keeps, keeps you know, he keeps the punchlines and he, he keeps me wanting to listen. So, Fab and Drake, like, out of all the newer dudes, I like Drake. So, a what lot. is it about Drake? I think Drake, Drake is dope. Got 50% like half the people like him a lot of people yeah, lot, I'm like I, mean, I think he's cool I think, yeah, I think yeah, yeah. he's amazing I, I think, think Drake is a dope everything. MC Me too. I think he's nice I think he gets a lot of criticism because he sings a lot but I if feel like I, sing, I, I feel like when do. you nice you can do other things. At the end of the day, if you throw on a gutter beat, sun gonna go in. Yeah. I feel like the same thing with Nicki Minaj. You know, she do her little popcorn shit, but Shorty's nice. Yeah, like, she nice. If you throw yeah. on some raw shit, she gonna she gonna She'll eat. Tear you up. So so get your money. But um, I I, I I'd like to definitely work with Drake and Fab. No um, females. We don't have like two I mean, or maybe three. Maybe a few right? females. Like, maybe <laughs> some female singers. It ain't really. Uh, maybe maybe Remy when she come home. I mean, yes, of yes. course, Nicki is dope. Hot. I mean, don't get it twisted. I, it, it's not. I'm a fan of music, so I'd love to work with everybody. But mm -hmm. when, like, when but you, you and Remy, when you, when, I like that. When you bring it up, who comes to mind is like Fab Drake. You know, Remy Bronx, bitch. You already know. That. <laughs> you already know, so, right? You know.